My name is uh, Santos Roman. I'm a third year graduate student in the history department and uh, Professor Tom Cogdell and I uh, collaborated to together in putting together this uh, exhibit about uh, South Africa, telling the story about uh, um, uh, the struggle for diamonds and land and gold in South Africa. A lot of the images or some of the images that we show are moderately well known to Scholar. So there's a shot of Kruger, that President Kruger of South African Republic, that's reasonably well known. But most of the other ones, uh, nobody knows anything about. The other thing that was greatly exciting was the notion of, an, of a technical thing, that those glass negatives, although they look dusty and you can barely see them now, have this remarkable ability to kind of blow up. And so you can project the images with crystal clarity in many cases. Um, to almost any size, which is a unique capability. When Tom and I discussed this, we, uh, we agreed to, uh, having looked at the photographs, we agreed to tell uh, the story uh, in all of its complexity as it was revealed by the photographs. And so we basically tell the story in, I think, in five major movements or sections. Uh, so initially when the, uh, when the uh, viewer walks in, he'll, he'll get uh, a story about the, the local inhabitants and what the country was like before the British and the Dutch, Dutch arrived. And, and then we move on to the story about the, the major players in the country, which would be the, um, the British and the, dust and the Dutch and some of the local populations. Uh, and then the third movement deals with the, the conflict, the war, the war over diamonds, the war over gold, the struggle for land and so on. Uh, and the, f the fourth movement deals with the impact of the war and the, the, the resultant uh, attitude of the British, the, 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 the sense of suffering and pathos and sentimentality, Victorian sentimentality, if you will. The last segment shows you the... Um, uh, the after effects of the war uh, in the sense that uh, the first photograph when you walk into the exhibit you'll see it's uh, while it is a posed photograph, uh, it, it depicts uh, a group of the of, of Zulu warriors, I think it is, and you sh you see them in all their their warlike uh, martial splendor. So you get a shot of that right at the beginning, and right at the end, uh, we end of the exhibit with this uh, um, this uh, remarkable shot. Uh, which shows how the, these mighty warriors have been transformed into, into rickshaw drivers, you know, and uh, they dressed up in their, their, um, their headdress, the cultural regalia, but they, they're no longer fierce, uh, um, battle-hardened, scary individuals. They're just uh, uh, a glorified taxi driver. And this picture remarkably also shows uh, when you when we blew it up, we were surprised we didn't see it. But right at the bottom of the picture, you can see a label which basically says um, "for Europeans only." Um, so um, the the intent of uh, the exhibit is also to show that um, that uh, the war, uh, the result of the war, w was u uniquely instrumental in forming and shaping the future of uh, modern South Africa.